Okay, we're going to start off in step 15. We're going to go ahead and reopen our report, our book value by category report. We're going to put it in layout view. You can do that up here, down low. I did it down low. And it wants us to select three reports at the bottom. It says to select one that has 420, which that takes all of our reports. Um, we're going to hold down the control button 945 and 730. We're going to properties, go to get the property sheet, right click and properties is what I did. And we are going to change the width to 1.25. Change the width to 1.25. So I went ahead and changed all our widths. Okay, next we're going to left property to six for the grand total label control. So that would be We're going to have to probably go to design view to see that. And I'm looking up here. Grand total. A little bit, a little bit differently written. Grand total label control. Value of books grand total. So we're going to change this one to, oh, it's asking the label. Sorry about that. This label. Um, it's asking for us to change the grand total label control left in the left property to six. We get the properties left property to six. Okay. And the width property to one. wants us to change the um, text in the sum label control. So we're going to click here. We'll change the text to total value of books by category. I'm going to click back in it and I'm going to change. So I clicked out and clicked back in to highlight it again. And I'm going to change the height to 0.35 that save the report i didn't click i didn't tab down so that didn't change now that value was taken correctly i think yeah that six is good so now we're going to save it Read books by, by category, yes. So now we're on to step 16. Step 16 wanted us to close the property sheet, which we've already closed it. I want to close our report. So I'm just opening up the report again and I'm putting it in design view. Now we're in design view. It wants us to, under the category footer, click the label control that displays the total value of the books category. It wants us to hold the shift key. And then under the report footer, it wants us to click on the grand total, and then it wants us to align it left. And so now we just simply, we're in a range. We click the line left with these two values highlighted. Now we're simply going to save the changes to the report, make sure it has the correct name. Yes. Okay, for step 17, we're going to go to print preview. Okay, and we're going to display two pages. So it's printing on two pages. And we're going to examine how the groupings break across the two pages. All right, so we've got all the cash in the other page, the totals. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and switch a view. So we're going to close print preview. We're going to put it in layout view. And it wants us to add a group, sort or total. So we're going to click here on group, sort or total. 
we are going to more and we're going to keep the whole item on one page Oops. so more it did not stay keep the whole group on one page so after we did the keep the whole group on page we're going to go back to print preview and then we see that we go back a view make sure that's still selected more keep the group on one page print preview we're still seeing that in our print preview it's still two pages um, so we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments based on uh, the columns so we're going to close this out we're going to go ahead and move these items over i think they're not aligned correctly i think that'll correct the problem so now it is on one page we do have to move that one over as well so let's go ahead and move that one over so all i'm doing is just clicking and dragging i think that our in our instructions we did not uh, align that correctly so now it's aligned correctly um, so our print preview now will show show the correct on one page we're going to go ahead and close that we're going to save the report we do not have to print it to paper um, so we're going to go ahead and go on to step 18 and uh, step 18 is basically printing and turning all your items in so we're going to go ahead and review what should be turned in um, you have a table that's given to you the career books table you didn't really work on that at all and the publisher table right so those are your two tables then you have your career book form you have your um, resume or interview book report right here resume or interview book report the, remember this query was given to us as well right we just renamed it and then you have your book value by category report um, so in all you're gonna have all these items that turn in but um, there's actually five that you've made adjustments to we're going to go ahead and file save the database as right make sure you know where you're saving it to last name first name 3g books of course it's going to ask us to replace it we're going to go ahead and replace it and then you submit it in moodle thanks good luck